Hello everyone and welcome to another wonderful episode on Tapo TV. In a previous episode, someone mentioned that we've exempted someone from Tapo TV show. So today we have a special guest, the ever able strong grandpa. Can you greet the viewers, sir? Hello, I greet you all. So we have fulfilled your request today. As so we you have... tell grandpa to greet the people. You did not tell me to greet the people, Abby. See, finishism is the problem here. What is sea finishism? See finish now. Nah. You don't know what is sea finish, Abby. You people have seen me finish. You don't have value for me anymore. Like I was saying, we had to bring grandpa today because the topic we have today is a very heavy one and we feel as an elderly person with more experience, you have to be here to throw more light on this matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is very good. You did the right thing. An elder cannot be on ground and a child roasted cricket will get burned in the fire. Me, yeah, I didn't roast any cricket though. I don't even eat it self. You can see that you are still a kid. That was only an adage, a proverb. So before we waste more time, let's delve in. We've seen in recent times that women have become more and more powerful and with the feminism move, women have started climbing ladders they never used to climb before in terms of career, politics and so on. And we say that is fantastic because we've seen some areas of leadership in women where excellence is displayed because the female man doesn't take shit like some of us the male do. You are very correct. That is very true. Our principal too is a woman. But she is very wicked, eh? All the teachers used to adjust their table whenever they see her coming. Taco, that is not being wicked. It's what we are talking about. She's being strict because she's taking her job very serious. <laughs> that is right. That being said, we have also seen that some ladies have taken it to another level where they say they don't need a man in their lives. They are okay by themselves. <laughs> that is right also. Uh-uh. Grandpa, you are just saying that's right. You don't say anything wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with a woman who says she's okay by herself. Is it by force to have a man? Abi, uncle, do you want to be her okay? She says she's okay. See, you don't know that some women even have more money than some men, self. Eh, uh -huh. that's the point I'm coming to. Some of these ladies feel they have all the money that they need in their lives, so there's nothing a man has to offer them. But I want you as an elderly person to tell us, is it proper? You see, in our days, we used to be the one to go out and farm, to tap, to hunt for animals and do a lot of things to bring food to the family. But you see, these days, the table has turned around. Some families, the women even earn more than the husband. I think that is very good thing because at the end of the day, the money still belongs to the whole family. I just want to clear that point for some men that are scared that their wives earn more than them. It is still your money. Ah, Grandpa, some women's money is not for the family. The man's money is our money, but their own money is my money. Their own. Some of such scenarios where the woman earn more than the man, sometimes the man is being scared that the wife might not respect him as she ought to be. No matter how much you have, you must return the respect for your husband else you are putting a curse on your family. Back to the question you asked about women who don't need a man in their lives. Before I answer your question, do you mean these women say they don't want to get married or they say they don't want a boyfriend? No, not a boyfriend now. Like the ones who feel that they don't need a husband. They want to stay single all their lives. Hmm, hmm, that is a deadly trap. I understand that some women haven't seen a husband yet. That, that is understandable. Yeah, that is different. We are talking about someone who made the decision to stay without a man. Some just feel they just want to have a baby and be by themselves. At least their baby is keeping them company. Mm -hmm. When God created Adam, it would have been possible that only the male man walks on the surface of the earth. But God said Adam needs a companion. So what I have to tell those kind of women is that marriage doesn't end in making children alone. The number one reason for marriage is companion. 
So if you feel your child is keeping you company and you are still young, you have money, you buy whatever you want and you fly to any country of your choice, but by the time you are getting to 50, 60 and you are getting older, by then that your child is grown and is married and you are left alone. Yes, because certainly that child won't be by your side forever. Grandpa, even before the child turns 17, he or she is already in university and some of them come home only on holidays. So that child you feel is your companion won't be there for too long. Exactly. So for those kind of women, they have to be very careful with their decision. It is when you are getting old that you will understand the importance of marriage. Very correct. I even want to say this. Even that child you are raising is missing a father. Because children need to be raised by both parents, man and the woman. Each of these parents have a measure of upbringing that they need to impute into that child. And where that is lacking results in some situation where we find some people tending to behave in a certain way because one parent was absent when they were growing up. We understand there are situations where one parent dies and the other has to raise the children alone. But if you have personally made that decision to be a single parent, try and balance it for the sake of that child you are raising. Because sometimes we do things for our own selfish benefit and forget that the children are being affected by this our needs and wants. That is what is called parasitic relationship. Ah, be you want to take parasitamon? Which one is parasitic again? Otakbo, shut up, Ojari. You see, that is what is going on today. And I hope you are addressing men too. Yes, of course. It's actually for both gender. Both man and woman, we need companion. In fact, Adam was the one that needed companion before Eve was created. So men need companion a lot too. Say, they used to say, behind every successful man, there is a woman. Very true, Taku. Very on point. Your head is beginning to open little by little. Abi, mm. when he comes here, sometimes he talks sense. It's when he's at home that he becomes naughty. I don't know why. Is food too much food? When somebody is eating too much food and the brain is trying to process all the food together, all he will be doing is rubbish. Mm. Mm. So your last words before we draw the curtain for today's episode, tackle you first. Like me, I was saying, you know, you know, they say behind every successful man, there is a woman. But some women now are trying to do everything that a man is supposed to do. Anyways, women were not meant to do all that men can do, but all that men cannot do. By that, I don't mean career-wise or politics. Don't get me wrong. Women are doing well career-wise and attaining utmost performance. Even in politics, some have attained very high position, even in Nigeria, and they did very well. The likes of Obie Zekwesele, Dora Akunyili, who pioneered NAVDAC, Ngozi Okonjo Ewela, who served twice as finance minister and minister of foreign affairs. I remember during her time, we had already started accumulating foreign reserves, unlike now that we are borrowing. But the situation where women now leave the thing they are supposed to do, trying to do all that men can do, is out of the point because there are things that a man cannot do that you are supposed to do. That's why Eve was created to be the helper of Adam. Let's not forget that. Everyone's role is very vital. Grandpa, your last words. You people have said it all. A woman was meant for the man and the man wasn't complete until the woman was created. So don't ignore that fact. One need the other. Fantastic end speech there. You've heard it all. Whatever decision you're making today, please think of 10 years later, 20 years later, and most importantly, where children are involved, please include them in your decision because they don't owe you your happiness. They have their own life to live too. Don't bend their future because of your personal desires and wants. We know some people have been pushed to that corner to make such decisions due to past experience and disappointment. Still, it's not enough. Thank you very much for joining us today. Don't forget to leave a comment and tell us what you think about people, especially ladies who will say, I don't need a man. You think it's right? Give us your reason in the comment section. 
please don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay blessed.